morning. I'm here today uh, to speak on behalf of the people of the Republic of Kosovo because this is where we belong, among the European family of nations, a, a European family where we have contributed for centuries for the values on which the EU today stands. I'm also here to stand, send a strong message on behalf of the people of Kosovo that we need a clear voice from the Un European Union. We need a united message from the European Union towards the Western Balkans because the more space is left out for other malign factors, obviously they will use it. So hopefully we will hear a clear perspective today from all the EU member states. For Bulgaria and Macedonia, please, comment. Do you agree with the bilateral uh, element in the process? Obviously this is for the people of North Macedonia and for the leadership of North Macedonia to speak. So we will hear their statements once they arrive. What I have to say is that we support the accession negotiations for both North Macedonia as well as Albania. I think it's about time that we all move ahead. The democratic countries of the Western Balkans, those that have shown to stand with EU values, need to move forward. So I really do hope that EU member states today will give that clear sign and message. We certainly do hope so. However, I don't want to raise expectations at this point in time because this process is not in our hands any longer. Kosovo has fulfilled all criteria when it comes to visa liberalization four years ago. We have answered to all of the concerns of the member states and now it's about uh, time that the member states really support this process because it's a great injustice towards the people of Kosovo. We expect you We fully support the candidate status for both Ukraine as well as Moldova because they deserve it. Just like the people of Kosovo, the people of these countries are showing that they really stand with EU values and they are ready to even give their own life in order to be able to join the European Union and to stand with those values and principles. So I don't see any harm whatsoever towards the Western Balkans if Ukraine and Moldova move on. Quite the opposite. I believe that by opening their doors to Ukraine and Moldova, the European Union is sending a strong message that this is of a geostrategic importance. It's a geopolitical decision and that's exactly what the Western Balkans needs as well. So I really do hope that while Ukraine and Moldova move on, at at the same time, the EU will understand that we, that are part of the heart of Europe, also deserve to move on because the more, as I said, the EU doesn't give a unified and a clear sign towards the Western Balkans, the more other malign factors will use that space and that vacuum. It's about the basic principle of freedom of movement. Hundreds of millions of people from Europe and from outside of Europe all the way to Venezuela have the right to visa-free travel and the people of Kosovo, less than two million, still don't have that right. We have fulfilled all of the criteria four years ago. The European Commission has recommended visa lib. The European Parliament has overwhelmingly voted in favor of visa liberalization. So I think it's about time that the member states also listen to the voice of their people, which was reflected in the European Parliament decisions. I believe they will be speaking on their own behalf. For Kosovo, the will of the people for Euro-Atlantic integration beats everything else. We have never looked anywhere else. This is the only alternative that we have worked for and we will continue to work for. Our patience will not go grim. So for that reason, I believe that all of the countries of the Western Balkans deserve to be here today to express their views and express the voice of their people. And of course, those that truly de are determined to walk on the EU path, they should move on. Those that believe that they can walk on the Moscow path, on the Putin path, as well as on the EU path, don't deserve to be on the EU path because you can't walk on both paths at once. Obviously. Well, so far, and this is unfortunate, Serbia has not shown any willingness to fully align with the European Union on Russian sanctions. On this way, apart from harming their own EU perspective, they are harming the rest of the region because they are allowing for more Russian influence in the entire region. 
which of course is very detrimental to our future as well as to long-standing peace and stability. All right. Thank you, Thank you all. A pleasure.